Hello my dear friends, um, today we're gonna continue our work with apple and butterfly. At part one I already showed how to um, make it in a color and now we're gonna continue with the flowers and leaves. I'm using two colors now, it's a blue, light blue and a um, pink one. And I'm trying to make an effect uh, half transparent petals. Uh, as you see, I left some uh, white, uh, tiny border lines around and only putting the uh, color in the middle of the leaf. It will give us um, effect of uh, transparent. As I already uh, told you in part one, this is uh, watercolor pencils, mm, IKEA. Uh, it's not expensive pencils, but it's giving a nice um, effect when you will add water. It's give uh, all abilities to work uh, as uh, with a normal a professional um, pa pencils, watercolor pencils, but as I told you it's really really not expensive. And now look, I just uh, add some water and our petals became a really um, light pinkish color, right? Very delicating uh, and soft colors. I'm trying not to um, put all amount of um, color from the first layer because it's always a risk. If you will put too much um, and you noticed you put too much, you can remove it with a special rubber and uh, I already demonstrated it at again past, uh, part one. Uh, this uh, picture, if you gonna train how to use uh, watercolor pencils, uh, you can just uh, print a lot of copies of this picture and uh, I will leave a um, link in uh, this video, you can find it. Uh, at this link you will find the outline picture so you can um, copy make uh, as much copies as you like and uh, try a different um, pencils and effects without uh, fear to make something wrong because uh, sometimes a lot of uh, time from the start we Mm, spending to create outline, right? And uh, when we are ready to start to work with the pencils, we already have no time. So you taking break, you mm, you losing um, art mood, uh, and when you returning. And starting to paint it uh, to paint again you already uh, sometimes you already have a own mood for drawing so what I really recommend to do uh, just uh, make a lot of uh, prints and try and try if you have um, some issues uh, with a paper because not all printers can print on watercolor uh, paper I'm using uh, some easy trick some easy trick uh, I'm copying from the print paper to watercolor pa uh, paper through the um, uh, special copying paper that's having um, ink on it 
I'm sure everyone can find it um, in the store. And also I will um, add a short uh, demonstration uh, masterclass about how to uh, move painting, how to move outline from the print paper to the any other paper you like. Uh, even you can uh, copy it to wood or um, canvas for example it also will work so uh, at uh, next part I will demonstrate this uh, way it's my own but I'm sure not only me uh, who using it now as you see I'm uh, working on leaf uh, so I'm using two um, pencils which is uh, grass green and um, yellow but uh, as you see uh, I'm leaving really really light um, parts now on the edges because again I want to I want to make um, contrast between leaf uh, and uh, background background is blue but uh, I think I will need to make it uh, darker than uh, it's now because uh, as I see mm, I don't really like this contrast now uh, all work uh, took for me around three hours and I did it from first try uh, but before I already had uh, experience with uh, watercolor pens so if you will um, uh, if you will have some issues with uh, technique just don't leave to draw right uh, you can um, even choose and um, use only small part of my picture for, for example um, flower in the middle you can only make a flower in the middle and all other parts just uh, leave without color because uh, for a whole picture of course you uh, already know how to uh, you already have to know how to use it how to use it. Um, this is a second layer. As you see, I'm again using a dry pencil, dry pencil, but now it's a really um, intensive color and uh, for light, uh, I just uh, removed some um, pigment from my picture, right? And see this. Uh, now this uh, small flower uh, have um, got really volume and what I uh, like about these pencils about these IKEA pencils it's really have a strong pigmentation uh, because uh, some uh, watercolor uh, pencils too delicate in my opinion too delicate this set is not and uh, you have to control your pushing but well this set giving us uh, much more abilities to use right because we can make really watercolor softly uh, effects or we can really make a strong and uh, bright and uh, bright and contrast uh, picture uh, this leaf look this leaf I'm using uh, blue and dark cold green why it's so because I want this leaf uh, looking um, uh, more on a background because if I will make this leaf too green 
it will look it will take too many mm, attention from us will take too many attention but our main uh, object here it's an apple so everything you're doing for now you have to set nicely just uh, make it not so you know not so bright and not not so intense on a color because other way and be very careful with the yellow because too many yellow and this color will take attention from our view from apple still our main point it's an apple and a butterfly so even if you really like to work on the leaves and uh, all these small details keep in mind this is not the main part of our painting because sometimes you know uh, it's so hard to take yourself from uh, all the detailing especially if uh, it's leaves and branches it's really giving us lots and lots of details especially if you're working with a photo mm, you're taking photo as original picture and it's uh, giving us lots of details and yes from some details we have to um, we have uh, to or <laughs> how to say protect ourselves right from using it too much uh, always when you're starting to create uh, some picture you have to understand first what what is the main part of your of your painting of your picture and all others it's uh, just uh, a background it's just um, details that making your picture not empty not um, looking not boring right for example if I'll just um, make an apple on the on a um, paper this picture will look too simple especially for this size this size it's a uh, um, uh, a4 list of paper a4 and uh, for one object mm, I'd say it's too big right for just one foot I'd uh, like to take half of uh, this uh, piece of paper so just don't um, set too many details but still uh, look now to um, make leaves sitting in the background I put blue um, color on it so it's making leaves uh, not main parts I really like um, white sides on the leaves because it's giving nice um, effect of a volume and um, uh, this uh, you know feeling of life for leaves because if you will take uh, the real leaf and you will uh, look through it on uh, sun you can see leaf have a different um, um, it's not the same on different parts in the middle it's uh, not transparent at all and all sides they are very tiny they are very tiny almost half transparent so this um, small white uh, sides and corners it's giving effect of life to our picture the uh, main uh, how to say for me the main um, mm, part it's always a nature if you can't to find uh, 
write a proper mood to create a picture it's just mean you didn't find yet the um, object for the mood for example for this apple I really used the real apple and uh, this real apple just laying in front of me on the table and um, when I uh, find it at store they uh, were looking really juicy and uh, this effect I'm trying to create on the picture yes I have no branches in front of me and I have no blooms no leaves but still and no butterflies of course at my <laughs> on my table but still the apple is a main and it was the um, Mm. it was at the start of idea for this uh, picture I very very like to find some uh, one object for example some really beautiful vase or uh, some really beautiful flowers uh, and to make from it the center of a composition even if other parts um, not real it can came from my mind uh, I very like to create uh, some natural morts that have not realistic some fantasy details uh, but um, again the center of a composition it's uh, always coming from the nature and sometimes it's lemons, sometimes I can see at store some really, really tasty looking lemons and then apples and then grapes. Grapes, it's a, I'd say it's most um, popular fruit at uh, pictures uh, with food. Uh, I'd say it's a grapes and it's a pom, uh, it's calling pom. Granet. Uh, it's a fruit with a really, really red small seeds inside. And this is the um, most popular fruits uh, for natural mold. So if you can find any um, this kind of fruit you really like to draw at store, just grab it. Grab it, run to home, make really nice composition and uh, try it no matter your skill your skill will come with your tries as much you painting as better it's uh, becoming and uh, all uh, difficult pictures always starting uh, from the easy pictures I mean uh, from the start it's always something um, round shaped right having uh, not a lot of details for example it's a this apple right or it can be uh, a flower I really like also a flower flowers especially um, peonies and uh, uh, of course a uh, roses everyone have a uh, like roses to draw but roses it's a diff uh, very difficult uh, difficult flower as an uh, object for uh, painting uh, so my my branch also almost done I just used only brown color and a little bit of black for contrast I don't want to make to create uh, you know lots of details on it it's not the main part at all uh, also I like as um, mm, as the way how to find the right mood for painting I really like uh, visit museums it's so you know <laughs> not unique way but uh, 40 minutes in a art museum giving you um, not only uh, well not only a good timing right and we can't uh, when you're starting to draw yourself to paint yourself mm, you 
starting to have a different view on uh, pictures, on uh, paintings um, that other people did. Because before uh, you will only, um, you know, uh, you will only see, look on it, watch it as uh, and I really like to place it at my room, you know, this picture at the museum. Is it good for it or not? This is the common view. Uh, of lots and lots of people's uh, people, but when you started to create yourself, you becoming an artist really, no matter your skill. Trust me. Um, if you started to draw, you starting to look with the different eyes, because you can now really see the work. Um, it doesn't matter if you have no technique yet. For example, uh, palette knife technique, uh, a little bit hard, right? I'd say it's even a really hard technique. But even if you don't know it yet, you already starting to read about it, to visit um, art galleries, to um, Think about it, what uh, materials you need, what to read, what to watch, some um, classes, some internet lessons. And um, this is a really creating a mood for painting for yourself. So yes, museum, it's a nice start, you know, because some people... Um, uh, communicating with me and um, writing to me about they sometimes it's uh, weeks and weeks going and they have no ideas what to draw and how to draw and they trying to wait for the mood but this art mood this um, mm, art atmosphere at your home it's not coming if you just sitting on a sofa you have to find it somehow uh, some um, people need <laughs> even a really good kick you know <laughs> especially um, teenagers and uh, almost all of them uh, like to like to paint but um, they try to spend time for some other mm, for some other things for example like TV shows or mm, chatting with the friends right I know it for sure because uh, I have a daughter teenaging and uh, sometimes she really needs a good kick from me start to draw and paint uh, she have her uh, own um, um, she have own um, interest in art it's uh, uh, characters characters but um, in art school where she learning how to draw of course they are concentrating on uh, classical art and a classical art um, needs a lot of training. For example, the nature, I mean, trees, green leaves, uh, it's uh, coming in mind how to make it, how to draw it, and paint with um, acrylic or uh, oil painting. It came in mind after two or three seasons of trying. On an on a nature uh, before it's um, really hard to continue because um, seems like you have no um, you not drawing better you standing on a place your pictures always looking too childish but it's wrong of course because you still you're training your hand 
The main thing it's uh, our hands. If um, we not drawing da daily, and uh, I highly recommend to spend at least 30 minutes daily to make something. And, and it doesn't matter what you draw, you can draw with me this picture, or you can try paint by numbers, or um, you can make um, draw with a pen. It doesn't matter. It's just a training of your hand how to make lines. And by the way, I really um, think um, paint by numbers really um, <laughs> very pleasant own way to uh, um, art because you can choose a lots from a lots and lots and lots of um, pictures if you will check internet store and uh, you can find better or less digitalization for example it's if it's a canvas board uh, not a canvas canvas board it's uh, a carton on a carton it's possible to find a better digitalization and when you will done the picture paint by number uh, you can put there more details from your view uh, just a week ago I finished um, my sunflowers and uh, I will add some videos about it how to blur and um, how to make some effects on paint by number picture to create a view of a really uh, artistic picture artistic work and it's possible and it's a way to make a really interesting interior um, masterpiece and it's of course it's a awesome present because uh, for example my mom really like it and my mother-in-law uh, I already um, presented to her uh, to her uh, two of my um, paint by numbers but with uh, your own details when it's done and you made some own details it's looking as a masterpiece so of course your own um, drawing and the paintings it's important but um, as I can see from uh, a real life and I have a lot of people around me who painting uh, most days they are too tired in the evening to um, imagine something to imagine something unique or to draw from the real uh, objects and at this way especially if it's not your job I mean painting not your job it's a really good choice to start uh, paint by number uh, by numbers um, picture because <laughs> I saw a lot of reviews about um, paint by number, it's uh, rest and self-drawing, it's a job and it's a really true, it's a really true. Um, when I'm painting or drawing some unique um, picture, I have to think about it a lot. I can't watch something or listen music. I have to be a really concentrated because um, some wrong movement, especially with watercolor, and uh, there is no way back. With acrylic dye, it's uh, much more easy because they uh, can be repainted over it and uh, you can make lots of mistakes and to cover it with a new and new layers of dyes and it's a really rest 
For me, it's really rest. When I'm tired with my kids and uh, I had a really busy day, I'm choosing to make a paint by number. And after, of course, I'm doing 100% uh, self-view. And uh, what I'm thinking to do is to make some videos some videos for you. Um, I have my own uh, special four ways how to right how to make um, blurs and make some effects. Um, so I uh, think to make um, a series series with four maybe with four steps about uh, self details for pictures by numbers my apple almost done uh, I made a background darker mm, I think even more dark I'd like to make it maybe with blue detail uh, with it um, not blue with the black details in the middle because still it's not enough contrast mm. and I think a passepartout and a black frame maybe or a wooden frame will fit best for this picture uh, if you will make picture for whole um, paper you have to fix it with a scotch with a paper scotch or you have to fix it with a glue uh, other way even now you can't clear clearly see it but um, I can see it um, it's not so flat now because of um, uh, water I added that background looking good in my view now not not very dark not very light I'd say it's enough volume maybe a little bit more bluish here and maybe not you know it's always hard to stop yourself <laughs> it's so um, easy to make mistakes in the end because you want to make it better and better but uh, it's hard to to say yourself stop <laughs> okay let's let's add some black in the in the end i i think it's um, will give uh, even more contrast Yes, and now look, now it's looking mm, fits better with a butterfly because a butterfly have uh, uh, black wings. Ah, I'm already started to mm, to to make some mistakes. No, I just fixed it with a napkin. It's very important to mm, keep all your uh, instrument, which is uh, water and the dice and a napkin and the pencils around you uh, because um, paper drying fast and the mistake of, of course will dry fast as well it's uh, you you usually have no time to run somewhere and <laughs> grab it so prepare yourself uh, good of course before you starting to work Yes, with the black um, center now, it's looking very natural and uh, very harmonical, I'd say. I'm happy with the result. Uh, so, in, in the end, let's complete our butterfly. Mm and a little bit more bluish mm. 
maybe it's too much <laughs> right this blackberry blue and maybe not and I think I will add a yellow mm, yellow tiny details in the middle in a bloom in the middle of a flower I have Mm, and some water I'm already tired to work on it so I'm scared, scared to, to make a mistake in the end you know it's so easy ah yes here it was needed look now apple um, looking much much better with uh, this blue shadow but now um, I have to add more red details on our flowers because uh, dark blue middle wants to um, taking too much attention from the flowers so I have to put more red color in the deep part of uh, flowers mm. and some red in, in the end uh, when you're almost done with your picture a uh, nice way to place picture one or two meters um, in front of you and check how good it's looking from the distance because of the small pictures uh, sometimes you know you're losing view that's it I think now it's looking really good and some yellow parts in the, in the middle of the flowers that's it that's it my friends I think it's done I hope uh, I'll catch you later on my paint by numbers sunflowers from dimensions.